Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1108. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1108 to 1110, click on the link below the video. Hey, in the next three videos, 1108 to 1110, we're going to talk about comparing two lists and extracting records. And we're going to look at both, hey, we're interested in the items like Fran that are in this list, but not over here. And we'll talk about how to extract when they're in both lists. Now, in this first video, we're going to do filter. Next video, we'll do advanced filter, which is my favorite trick. And then we'll use an array formula in 10. All right, so when you're comparing two lists, the base function you want to use is match. And here's the reason. We're going to look up Joe in this list, and the match function will look it up and tell you the position it is in this list. So Joe would be 1. If I tell match to look up Fran, it can't find it, so it will deliver an NA. Kiki, 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six. so it's the ninth item. So match will look up Kiki and return the number 9 because it's in the ninth position. So let's go ahead and use match. Hey, I'm going to look something up. That name in list 2, comma, within this second list, F4 to lock it in all directions because we're going to copy it down. And then our match type is exact match because our lists are not sorted. Now match just delivers relative position just as we said Joe is the first item in the second list. When I double click and send this down, Fran is not available. Fran is in list two, but it's not in list one. That is our question here. Items in list two, not in list one. So the NAs are what we're interested in. There's a nine. That means Kiki is in the ninth position. So watch this. F2. We simply are interested in NA. So there's a logical function called is an A. Is an A in its value argument, you put whatever. If it sees an N A, is an A delivers true. Logical functions like this, is an A, is number, deliver true or false. So when it sees an is or when it sees an N A, control enter, double click and send it down, it delivers a true. And the true is what we're interested in. False means, hey, it didn't see an NA. Now, we're going to use filter to extract records where we find a true. Now, we can go up to the data and click on filter. You can also notice if you use filter a lot, the keyboard is Control Shift L. So you ready? One single cell in your data set, empty cells all the way around, Control Shift L. Now I can simply come here. Broop, Come down to the drop down, check true. Those are the ones I'm interested in. I copy. Now I'm going to come down to the bottom here, the items that are not in list two. Now, unfortunately, I had some fancy formatting. I would normally control V to paste, but I'm going to come over here and go to paste and say paste values only. There's the items not in list one that are the items in list two that are not in list two. One. Now, what if we wanted to ask a different question? Here we want to say, hey, I'm interested in the items that are in both lists. No problem. You take the same exact formula. Remember, we're not interested, well, in the first example, we're interested in the NAs. Here we're interested in numbers. And guess what? There's an is number. It simply looks at whatever match delivers. When it sees a number, it delivers a true. So there we go. Double click and send it down. And now we have a completely different pattern of trues and falses. Control Shift L. I come over here. I filter to true. Highlight. Now watch this. I didn't mention this just a moment ago. But when I copy a filtered list, Notice the dancing ants are going around only visible cells. Of course, that's what we want. If you compare that to a feature like subtotal, subtotal doesn't do that. So filter is kind of polite. When I control C, the dancing ants are partying only around the filtered item. So when I come down here and paste special values, boom, there are the items that are in both lists. Now. Control shift, I can come here and unfilter, right? Uncheck that, or I could control shift L to convert it back. So in this video, we saw how to use match and is NA and match and is number to create a logical formula and then filter to extract records 
items in list two that are not on list one and items in list one and list two. In our next video, we'll see a more compact way to do this with advanced filter. All right, we'll see you next video.